A white tiger like Gone By One in the wild doesn't really look like a predator, more like a giant billboard screaming, warning, animal incoming. Its color is so bright, it looks like it was sponsored by a laundry detergent commercial. Let's be honest, no antelope expects to get ambushed by a walking television ad. Meanwhile, its yellow and black striped cousins blend into the tall grass at sunrise and sunset like jungle ninjas. The white tiger, on the other hand, tries to blend in, but stands out about as much as a clown at a funeral. In the end, it usually ends up hunting for attention at the zoo. Most of them are the result of artificial selection, sometimes even inbreeding, and it shows. Some white tigers have that blank stare you only see on people who've been trying to solve a Rubik's Cube for three years. You can tell Mother Nature didn't really approve this design. Nowadays, these tigers live comfortably in zoos, and honestly, you can't say they've got it rough. Free meals, zero effort, mandatory naps, and sometimes even spa sessions. At this point, they're less wild beasts and more like luxury retirees. In the end, the white tiger is basically just an oversized house cat, useless for hunting, but perfect for looking good on Instagram.